polish that frame cause beauty is my name what up beauty gang, Happy Kim Beauty here and today I'm bringing you guys a super exciting video. As you can tell by the title and thumbnail, your girl is flat ironing her hair today. It has been over a year since I personally have flat ironed my hair. So I am super excited to see the difference between this year and last year, if there's any growth and whatnot because I haven't been wearing wigs this year which typically grows the crap out of my hair. So I don't even know if it's really grown like that or not. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I safely go from curly to straight type 4 natural hair. But before I have to this video if you are new to beauty gang and you ain't never heard of us sis i don't know where you've been at but we are so glad that you found us because beauty gang is hella stupid lit over here if you don't believe me go ahead and check the comment section below and you will see multiple beauty gang members vouching for the fact that we are hella stupid lit so after you've done that go hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified each time i post a new video without further ado let's happen to this oh god this slayer turn. All right, beauty gang, so first things first is of course to drench my hair in water. It was in a really dry and matted state, so always using warm to hot water before actually putting products in my hair helps to loosen it up a little bit. For today's wash day, I'll be starting with my Gold Series from Pantene Moisture Boost Conditioner. I like to put it throughout the full section first before finger detangling my subsections because I feel like it allows the other sections to kind of marinate and loosen up some of the kinks before I get to it. Now, because this is a curly to straight hair routine, it's really, really important for my hair to be fully detangled during this process so I'm using a tangle teaser on these sections just to make sure my hair will be as smooth as possible when it comes to blow drying my hair. This is what one side of my hair looks like after it's been thoroughly detangled and two strand twisted. I decided to do the other side off camera because I feel like you guys got a pretty good understanding of what I was going for. Now I'm going to go ahead and rinse all the product out my hair. And after I've done that, I'm going to follow up with the Pantene Gold Series Moisture Boost Shampoo. I love that I can always rely on the shampoo to thoroughly cleanse my hair but not make my job harder for me by retangling or rematting all the hard work that I did to finger detangle it. So you see I'm going in right now with this shampoo make sure my hair is really clean after that I make sure that I go ahead and rinse out all the shampoo thoroughly and then I go ahead and follow up with my texture ID deep treatment mask which really helps to restore moisture back into my hair after I just finished shampooing it and then also just giving my hair an extra kind of like layer of protection before applying all that heat on my hair and also because I usually keep my hair straight for a good two to four weeks I won't be deep conditioning for a while so this step was really really important After allowing the deep conditioner to sit for a good hour plus, I went ahead and rinsed my hair out off camera as well as t-shirt dried my hair for a good half an hour. So now I'm taking down one of the sections full of two strand twists and I'm gonna use my Texture ID Styling Cream now and put that all over my section. As you guys saw, I literally used a dime size, two dime size amounts, not heavy handed at all with this process and I really noticed a difference with my hair this time around. After coating my section with styling cream, I'm gonna go ahead and follow up with the Gold Series Pantene heat protectant spray which is by the way the only heat protectant spray I'd recommend and trust because I saw firsthand how the heat protectant spray works versus its competitors it's super reliable so yeah now I'm gonna go ahead and do the tension method on my first section with my blow dryer focusing on the roots and kind of going down the hair shaft every once in a while and then after the section is stretched to my liking I go ahead and use the comb attachment for the blow dryer and I start from ends to root to make sure the section is fully detangled then follow up with a small tooth comb to try to get my section as smooth as possible. Now in these next clips you're gonna see me repeat the same exact process but I want to explain to you guys why I feel like the method of only using dime size amounts instead of oversaturating my section with hair product like I did in the past really made a difference to my hair this time around. In the past I really felt like I needed all those hair products in order to protect my hair but my hair would always come out super stiff and I was always wondering why I could not achieve like that flowy type of look when people flat iron their hair. This time around, I still use really good protection on my hair using the styling cream as well as following up with some heat protecting spray. And my hair turned out absolutely amazing. Honestly, the best I feel like I've ever done. And you can tell just from the blow drying how flowy, how much movement it has. That's never happened to me in the past. Now I went ahead and blow dried the other side of my hair off camera just to speed things up a little bit. And today I am using a new flat iron. It is actually a black owned brand and it was gifted to me when I went to YouTube Black last month and 
October. I had never used this flat iron before. I never even saw anybody use it before, but based off their Instagram account, I was super excited to try it out. So after sectioning off my hair, I went ahead and started flat ironing my hair at the temperature of 390 degrees. I did about two, three passes for each section. I know to some naturals that might seem like a lot, but for me, I don't think so because I keep my hair super healthy all year long, wearing it in its curly state majority of the time. I don't put heat on my hair like that. So having to do two, three passes, especially because my hair isn't heat trained, seemed like a reasonable amount for me personally. However, do what you feel is best for your hair. That's what I feel like is best for my hair, so I don't need anybody telling me otherwise. Anyway, to finish off each section, I would go ahead and pump the flat iron up to 410 just to flat iron the full section and then bring it back down to 390 as I started working on individual sections again. By the way, I also wanted to just bring attention to how nice this flat iron is getting my hair, specifically my ends, and I have not trimmed my hair in months, y'all, and the fact that it is getting it this smooth, even with split ends and single strand knots, I was shook, honey. So between the products I used and this flat iron, my hair was turning out so bomb. It had a nice sheen to it, it had movement going on. I had absolutely no complaints. So I went ahead and finished the other side of my hair off camera, and to finish off things, I wanted to make sure I went ahead and tamed them edges to make sure they matched the energy of my hair. So I just sectioned off little front pieces and carefully passed the flat iron through. Now a few days later, I decided to come back and show you guys how I trim and style my hair. So that's what you're about to see here. Going ahead and section my hair off into four sections as well three sections, I guess two on this side, one on the other side. There is a particular way I like to personally trim my hair that a lot of people might not understand or agree with, but again, this is my hair, your hair is your hair, you do what you want, do how you feel, this is what's worked for me for years, and as you can see, my hair has definitely benefited from it. I'm someone who cuts off the very bare minimum when it comes to trimming my hair, I don't cut off a lot, and I also don't focus too much on shape or making sure both sides are all that even. My right side is substantially longer than my I left but I don't really care about evening that out because most of the time my hair is in curly form anyway and nobody can tell on top of that I always try to focus on health over length when it comes to my hair so even though it looks really nice and pretty when it's long I really want my hair to be healthy so I never hesitate to cut off what's necessary After I'm done trimming my hair, my hair feels so much better. I can run my fingers through without it snagging. It looks healthier and fuller and has more movement. Everything's just overall better. Now in terms of styling, I decided to switch things up a little bit this year. I did a deep side part, like a deep, deep side part as you can see. And I went ahead and split my hair in sections and I did a little flip method. The things that we used to tell our moms we didn't like when we were younger, I'm up here doing on my hair now. I'm well aware that a lot of people aren't really into bumps and curls especially not in 2019 but I just want to make it very clear I like what I like you like what you like we can all have our own opinions on how we like hair to be styled but at the end of the day if your opinion is negative you can keep that to yourself because I'm gonna keep doing me After I finish styling my hair, I'm gonna go in with this new edge control that was also gifted to me by YouTube Black from the brand Snob Life, which is also a black owned brand. This was my first time using it. I actually ended up really liking it. I have to try it out on my curly hair to see if it has just as good of a hold as it did on my straight hair. Now, after I finish slaying my edges, this is the final results of my hair after styling it. I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. And I was loving all the body and volume that it had going on. All right, beauty gang, so that concludes my curly to straight hair routine, y'all. I honestly think this is my best one yet. I have like two or three on my channel, but I don't know. I don't know if it's the length retention I have gotten or the way I decided to style my hair this time around or the fact that it's super flowy and not stiff like in the past. 
I just I just feel as though I did that okay so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I had the links to all the products that I use in the description box below if you are interested and yeah y'all mm, I'm gonna give y'all one more one more back view because this lame honey your girl ain't bald head no more type 4 hair can grow if I can do it you can do it too sis so and then please by the way don't be asking me in the comment section how did you grow your hair there's hundreds of natural hair videos on this particular channel so take your pics sis all the videos are very helpful and informative and everything that I show in the videos and do is exactly what I do in my hair off camera so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you are new beauty gang is obviously lit popping and slayed to the gods and until next time guys bye one time if you're confident, clap two times cause you're on the way. Never gave a damn about what they say, cause you had a long business on a day by day. Head high, chest up, and catch that frame, cause beauty is your name.